Hello, my name is Gabe Steele. I am the Police Systems Technician in the Information Technology Department, and today we're here to talk about the newly configured police vehicle, redesigned in 08, uh, enhancing the technology in the vehicle, as well as the uh, safety of the officer and the sustainability of the vehicle in general. So here we are looking at an old layout. Computer mounted here, police radio, GPS mounted down here, other components mounted in various places in the vehicle. This design serves its purpose well, but is greatly improved in the new layout. Let's go take a look. So now you've seen the old layout, let's take a look at the new layout. In the new design, where the MDC used to be mounted over the passenger vehicle, it's now located in the trunk, and the remote technology is mounted centrally in the car. This adds a lot of comfort and more space for the officer and the user of the vehicle. Touch screen, it's a remote screen connected to the computer. It has touch screen of capability, all the same functionality, backlit, same as the computer. On a swingable tray, the keyboard actually comes off of the tray if the officer wanted to place the keyboard on his lap to type reports or anything else they might want to do. The tray also swings back out of the way. This is a great improvement in officer safety and also usability. If the officer ever had the need to evacuate the vehicle out the passenger door, that wasn't possible in the past. With this design and all the technology recessed into the dash, the officer can now use this car in any way they like as far as officer safety is concerned, not being trapped in the vehicle in the event of a wreck or in the event of an occurrence. The controls are all more ergonomic and, and located for ease of use for the officer. The screen also comes out so we don't sacrifice access to temperature controls in the vehicle or the vehicle stereo. Lighting bar controller, police radio, power ports for cell phone chargers, other devices that they might want to put in the car. When we redesigned the cars, we also installed a new back seat and seat belt system. The new back seat offers increased comfort for the detainee as well as a great enhancement in officer safety. The previous layout had lower seatbelt clips requiring the officer to reach across the detainee to buckle them in safely. The new layout has elevated clips in the center of the seat as well as this big handle on the clip side of the seat safety belt allowing the officer to reach across and secure the detainee without compromising their position. Okay, now let's take a look in the trunk where all of the technology components are centrally located. In this easy pull-out tray, all the components are mounted together, whereas in a previous layout, components were mounted in different parts of the car in different locations which made them hard to get to, hard to service, hard to replace. Now everything's located on a central tray, easily pulled out, easy to get to all the components, the wiring is much cleaner, the power is much cleaner, one central power unit for all these components which makes it much easier to service for IT as well as fleet maintenance and uh, the other people that need to address issues with the police vehicles. left side of the tray, this is the mobile data computer, the MDC, does all the central computing for all the technology and all the communications back to CAD. This gold box is a GPS unit that tracks the location of the car through satellites, route that information back through the MDC so they can see a GPS location of all the vehicles uh, at the consoles in the dispatch center. This is the two-way communications radio. This is the light bar controller for the lights and uh, not just the car, 
not just the lights on the top of the car, but also flashers, wigwags, everything else that's programmed into the car and the vehicle lights. Siren controller, fuse panel, and a power control computer that controls the power to all of these components and uh, runs a series of delays and things that we can program in to keep the components powered even after the car is turned off.